this is Divyan. Welcome to our first ever DNS podcast. We are glad and proud to announce that our one of the technical engineers who has been working dedicatedly in the application security domain has achieved one more extra, uh, one more expertise level regarding the administrations of big IP platform. In March 2020, he had completed his 101 certification of F5 and currently uh, just um, he has just completed his uh, FI's 201 certification administration big IP uh, big IP products we are uh, we have very few individuals in Nepal uh, with 201 certification and he is one of them we cannot be more prouder than this so Today we are here to know more about this certification and his experience in achieving this title. So without a further, a further ado, let's welcome Salil Moharzan. Welcome Salil. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much. First of all, congratulations on being F5 certified. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome and we are thankful to have you here. So tell us something about F5 in general. F5 or Big IP is a company which provides mm -hmm. hardware platforms and software solutions primarily focusing on uh, application performance, reliability and security. Okay, so do you think that uh, it's relevant in Nepal market the products of F5 we have in the networking infrastructure in Nepal? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, Big IP platforms are very much relevant mm -hmm. in the Nepali digital, uh, digital, uh, digital network infrastructure, I would say. Um, in any institution, um, for proper workings of their digital network, uh, we have to make sure that the clients get the best of our products mm -hmm. and features. And we also have to make sure that the client's data uh, as well as the organization's data are kept secure. Uh, for all keeping all these things in mind, we mm -hmm. recommend our F5 products uh, F5 recommends, F5 pro provides various solutions which helps in achieving these uh, features, achieving this, these things. Uh, for example, if uh, I, have to, I have a web server mm -hmm. and I have a web application where I serve various features to my clients through a web portal and web application, I have to make sure that the service they are getting is the top one. So okay. there, hasn't, there shouldn't be any uh, um, misgoings or it has to be top notch. I, I, I just mean to say that it has to be top notch, and we have to make sure that the services are uh, proper. So we have to make sure for better performance of these web servers, we can use F5 products. The, we can use F5 LTM, or it is a type of application delivery controller. So and as well other products which F5 produce, provides are F5 ASM, which is uh, which provides layer seven security mm -hmm. for layer three or layer four level security. We can use F5 ASM. So and for app access control, uh, mm -hmm. we can use F5 APM and other modules like a F5 DNS are there as well. And all of these products are can be very much used in the Nepali market and are quite being used. Okay, uh, so seems like F5 is quite useful and very beneficial. Yeah. You okay. can say that, yeah. So, since uh, you have just completed the certifications, and how do you, how much do you think the certification is into the play? Yeah, um, I would say that this giving certification helps a mm -hmm. lot. Um, it boosts your confidence, uh, I would say. Exactly. Yeah, it has boosted my confidence, I would say that. Yeah. We can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. But okay, uh, nevertheless, I have been, uh, I've been involved in FI projects for over a year now, and I have faced many scenarios where uh, something happens and uh, support is required. and. Being an F5 certified will help me uh, solve these problems more confidently mm -hmm. and more properly. I would, uh, you can say that. And uh, also, um, the credibility the F5 certification gives uh, it's a it's a big thing. Clients uh -huh. ask for that. Um, being an F5 certified uh, engineer, the clients will have more confidence in the in support engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you think so? Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, we we yeah. do think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that's how it is. And um, other things uh, which come to my mind is that um, 
While studying for the F521 certifications, I came across many topics which I hadn't, in my experience, I hadn't faced, I hadn't faced up until then. And then while studying, I came across these new topics, mm -hmm. and I was pleasantly surprised, and I was more than happy to learn about these new topics. And I'm sure they will be help later on. They will be a they are a big plus point. So. so what you need to say is it is a plus point to have a certifications. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So what's the next question is how the exam and its uh, preparation has uh, impacted your understanding in the projects of F5? Yeah, as I already said that mm -hmm. uh, I've experienced, uh, I have had experience in F5 for uh, a long time. I would say <laughs> a year is a long time uh, i have uh, learned about different things face different scenarios and still i was facing uh, still while studying i faced some new topics mm -hmm. and yes. it's quite helpful so okay. preparing them and preparing for the f5 exam i uh, spend a lot of time uh, uh, studying about new topics so and yeah basically yeah it's it's good it's helpful very much okay. yeah. so next is what do you want to give advice to an aspiring engineer that are uh, starting their journey for the 201 certifications okay uh okay. for 201 certification or ff ff certified uh, big ip administrator certification mm -hmm. you need to complete your 101 and 201 exams mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned before, I had completed my 101 exam last year and sadly due to the COVID crisis, I couldn't give uh, 201 exams earlier. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> for both these uh, certifications or both these examinations, we have to prepare for, uh, you have to have the basic concept of networking protocols, uh, networking concepts, networking architecture and well, networking architecture and uh, basic Linux commands uh, as well. So. If you want to, uh, if you want to prepare for the F5 examination and you want to be a F5 certified engineer, you have to know the basics of networking. Mm -hmm. uh, networking is a must. So you have to know the networking protocols and networking configuration. You have to net understand the network architecture thoroughly, okay. and then you can practice uh, the basic uh, big IP lab uh, environment. Uh, you can. Um, I have a lab environment in your laptop. It wouldn't. Uh, it's not a good thing to do that. Uh, you can, you can do it uh, by yourself and practice it on your lab environment. So, yeah, for two one exams, I would uh, suggest that you have hands-on experience, uh, and you can. I think you can achieve that. Yeah. So. Okay. Basically, so you have to that practice. Was, okay. Practice. That was informative and. We had got more knowledge about F5 and what we need to do for the 201 certification. I hope all the aspiring engineers who are trying to go for to attempt the uh, certification, it was helpful. Thank you so much, Salim. So, thank you, so much. Um, thank you all of you. Thank you for listening to us. And we have many more tech videos upcoming. So. The, please subscribe our, you can subscribe our channel to not miss out anything related to the tech thank you so much